okay so the method of caffeine is completely prepared in our software and we give to command to our system so before giving to injection to system first we have to check our our pressure pressure must be 2000 to 3000 psi if the pressure is non benten we will wait and check why why what is the reason behind this and then the pressure is completely maintained then we run our sample okay so our pressure is completely maintained so we give the injection to our system it is our injector the injector range is 25 microliter and we give 20 microliter injection of caffeine to our system okay it is our sample the concentration of caffeine sample is 10 microgram per ml before injection you must filter the sample with wattman filter paper if you are not filter any type of impurity is choke your injector so first you have to filter your sample with wattman filter paper then use okay so i filter this sample then you have to take this sample okay and remove bubble first okay and then inject it is load condition and then inject now our sample is injected let's go to computer screen and see our sample run okay as you know that our sample is running right now as you know that our sample is caffeine and its retention time is 5 minutes so uh, we said i said uh, run time is 10 minute so the graph and the peak is present in center of the graph uh, that's why and uh, as you know that the important part when our sample is running uh, the pressure is very important the pressure the pressure is always be continue and accurate or proper manner if any type of fluctuation is observed in our pressure so the peak is discontinue the peak showing tailing or uh, the theoretical plate is low uh, peak must be sharp or accurate so pressure is very important any type of leakage is not observed uh, look at this is our peak our peak is very sharp any type of tailing is not observed in our peak our peak as you see that or any uh, the theoretical peak is always is proper manner so this is a proper peak we observe and we get uh, so it is a very important point you must remember the pressure the pressure or column is very important for your peak your column is proper clean pro clean or it is not showing any type of problem any type of leakage uh, if your your column is old or it is not clean properly so you have to see any type of uh, tailing or low theoretical plate but if your column is proper your pump is properly working so you will get proper peak and very important point is also it is it is a straight it is a baseline is very important baseline must be straight so it is very important if you not get proper baseline do not start your run first you have to get a proper baseline it is a straight baseline then start your analysis okay so it is a very important point so our peak we will get our peak so we start our integration so it is our peak it will get 10 minute for run okay so if you want to reduce the run time or edit the run time or any type of option so it is also present you also reduce the run time between the run running is performed so it is also performed but you do not take this type of action you have you perform full run time you take rep full run time because uh, your graph is present in proper manner peak must be in center it is very good for your graph as well so you must complete run and then take another another run as well so waiting for this running is completed then we will start our integration and report making okay so the run the proper the run time is 10 minute so the run is continue right now okay after 10 minutes 
our run is completed so we will start integration or report making it is very important the pressure must be stable or column must be pure or proper manner so you will get a proper peak or sharp peak so our sample run is completed in this video i will show you how to integrate the peak how to make report one more important thing the concentration of drug is calculated by its area under curve in hplc so do not waste time and let's go to computer screen okay now our run is completed so we start our integ integration and report making so first uh, we going to browse project window in browse project window we basically uh, integrate and report making in this particular uh, window so we going to browse project and left click then the browse project window is open okay so it is open let's uh, first we have to update uh, first so we updated and see there uh, top of the top of the table there is a see the our injection it is kfn 2903.19 it is our injection so we see our injection in two point it is a injection option or channel option both the option we see our injection and integrate our option okay so in channel or injection we should see our injection it is a caffeine injection and then we have to select this injection and interpret this option so we going to channel option and select our injection and then we have to there is a compare option or review option so we choose a review option then our injection is open then we are going to peak option it is uh, your peak option so this then in this peak option we click this peak option it is a left click and we see our injection so we going to peak option so the, this is our injection uh, this is our run of caffeine then we have to go to right there this option this is this is integrate option so this so it is automatically first we have to select this integrate option and left click so automatically integrated our peak it is it is integrated by our software only okay we are not integrated it is automatically integrated by our software so we first we have to remove this type of peak this 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 is unknown peak or unnecessary unnecessary peak so we have to uh, disappear this peak okay first we have to dis disappear this peak uh, in integration okay so we integrate and then it is called calibrate every action we have to take any any type of option we have to select in integration then we have to go integrate and calibrate first we have to integrate then calibrate okay you have to see uh, so okay so we start our integration first we have to there going in graph it is our peak you have to see the, it is our peak right there in middle of the graph okay the run time is 10 minute and then we have to left click we have to left click in the graph okay so that and select add integration event okay it is start we start our integration okay so we select add integration event okay so we select add integration event and then then going to type so the first option is peak valley to valley it is very important option the time is we select time it is 0, 0 to 10 minute the complete run time we have to select 0 to 10 minute and okay it is okay and then integrate and calibrate integrate and calibrate okay so valley to valley option is selected okay so the peak uh, the meaning of valley to valley option is that we we uh, the software read the peak for starting to valley to end to valley okay it, the meaning of valley to valley is that it it take yeah it pick your peak from valley to valley it is mean okay so we select our peak valley to valley okay it's mean so always the peak is starting from valley on end from valley okay so we selected valley to valley option okay we then we going to other option we select the other option the other option is that okay so 
then right click and then select end integration option and we select inhibit integration we have select a option called inhibit integration this option are very useful for remove the unnecessary peak right now we select 0 to 2 minute option so the starting time is 0 and end time is 2 minutes so 0 to 2 minute all unnecessary peaks are removed okay so we select 0 to 2 minute and integrate and calibrate so the unnecessary peaks 0 to 2 minutes are removed then we remove these two peaks also so we remove these peaks or so then again we going to again we going to our uh, graph and right click add integration option and select inhibit integration there we select inhibit integration and select the time have you know that our peak time is 2 point it is our retention time our retention time is 2.2 minute 0.342 seconds so it is our integration uh, upon our original peak caffeine peak or the unnecessary peaks are come from 4 minute or 5 minute so we have to remove these two peaks 4 minutes and 5 minutes peaks so we have to select this particular time so, so i select the time is 10 3 minutes to 10 minutes okay so from 10 minutes to 3 minutes from 3 minutes to 10 minutes all the peaks are removed from 3 minutes to 10 minutes okay so both the unnecessary peaks are uh, are come from 3 to 10 minutes so these two peaks are removed okay so we have select 3 to 10 minutes and integrate inhibition integration and then we have to go to integrate and calibrate so as you see our main peak of caffeine is not good very well as you see that so we have to edit our integration for integration of uh, for for edit of integration we go to process option so we have to go to process option there we have to edit our integration so it is our process option so we going to process option see this is our integration uh, valley to valley inhibit integration but this inhibit integration is not very good that's why our peak is not good looking so we change we change our inhibit integration option is first we give a 3 minutes to 10 minutes then we have to change we edit this option so it is now 4 to 10 minutes okay so we change our integ inhibit integration option or process method and then again integration or calibration option again going to review main window so this is okay so it's looking like it is our so our main peak of caffeine is right there and the unnecessary peaks are removed okay so then we give the name to our peak so we give the name to our peak so again we going to process option in process option we select a component option you have to see the, it is a component option so we give the name of the peak important point is retention time you have to add a accurate and accurate retention time we cross check our retention time it is 2.3 so okay so it is a 2.342 okay so it is our retention time then again integrate and calibrate or it is our name so like our peak name is observed right there it is a caffeine or also right there caffeine is observed uh, so you have to look in right there the our peak is named right there so we give the name to our peak again we have to continue our integration so our integration method is completely complete okay we complete our interpretation or complete our interpretation so we right now we have to save this method for processing it is called our processing method so we going to file option and save processing method okay save option select processing method we give to na name to our processing method so we give name to our processing method the processing method name is caffeine 29 save so our processing methods are safe so in future if we run again a caffeine sample so we do not prepare a processing method again we have 
a processing method already so we apply this processing method to other caffeine samples as well okay so these processing methods are used in future also okay so our processing method has completed now now we have to update we going to injection option it is a channel option and select and process in process option we have to select two option first is processing method or second is method set that's it and then our injection is completely processed and going to result okay so we have first we have to select processing method our processing method as you know that kfn29 we have made it is our processing method so we select our processing method then we going to a method set option it is our method set option so our method set is kfn2903 and then okay and then update after updation we going to result option this is our result and look at this this is our processed processed injection okay our injection interpretation is completed right now and it is come to in come in result option as well okay now now we make a report then we have to select preview slash publisher option so it is loading our injection is loading right now okay then we have to select report format or look at this this is our total final report we, you have to see this this is our report it is our sample name it is our name you have to see the peak name as well retention time area as well okay so you have to see the complete report as well it is our report if you want to see any other options in this particular table telling you have to take theoretical plate you have to add resolution uh, resolution so you also add this op particular option in this table so it is also possible you have to edit this report format it is also possible you have if you want to make a uh, report format according to you you have to add another options according to usp ip japanese pharmacopoeia it is also possible so uh, in waters or m power software any type of report you have to make any type of information you have to add it is possible okay so how to make report or how to edit this reports uh, i will i will teach you i will demonstrate you on my another video so please comment if you want to uh, if you want to learn uh, how to make reports in hplc how to edit these reports how to add another options in report format so uh, then i will absolutely i will make another video for this okay so this is our report or our uh, analysis is fully completed we get the our caffeine caffeine peak as well in hplc okay thank you for watching thank you very much in this series a very very special series i will show you how to handle hplc what is hplc importance of hplc why hplc one of the most important instrument in pharmaceutical industry different different parts of hplc called instrumentation of hplc how to make report how to handle its software now this series is completed point right now i wish this series is very helpful for your bright future so thank you for watching this series and my well wishes for your bright future thank you very much